everybody. We're here in Skowhegan and we're picking up some goodies at the bankery and we just thought we would show you how awesome their um, their food is. So once we unwrap it, we should actually show it off. Um, my name is Serena Sambor and I work at Waterville Crates and this is our first on the road series. I'm super excited to be here at the South Solon Meeting House with Barbara Sullivan, who is a local artist and also on the board, right? Of South the South Solon Historical Society, okay, awesome. which we take care of this building. Yeah. So I think we're going to have Barbara tell us just a little bit of like history of the Meeting House before we head inside. It's beautiful. <laughs> Um, so the meeting house was built, as you can see from the stone, in um, 1842, and um, it's, you know, it's a very kind of simple meeting house. It was always non-denominational. It's built here at the crossroad, which I think is an interesting intersection in terms of that it's never had any denomination. You know, people have used it traveling, you know, pastors came through, and then in the early 50s, um, the Skowhegan School thought it was a great opportunity to have some murals made here because there was a long history of fresco at the Skowhegan School because you know many of the artists had worked for the WPA and stuff. And so anyway, it was just this very large space with just all white plaster walls and big stove going. I have old photographs of the, the stove in the middle of um, you know, the building with these little teeny cups to c collect the creosote and stuff. And so it's really interesting to see those photographs with nothing inside. Mm. And anyway, it's a fabulous space and I feel like it's a sanctuary. And let's go inside. Wow. So this is the little foyer. There's a wonderful mural by Willard Cummings, one of the founders of the art school on um, Skowhegan School of Sculpture and Painting, um, right here. And, um, and then directly in front of you, down there, is um, a little mural by uh, Henry Barnum Poor, another founder of the school. And Yeah. And it's interesting that all the founders are right here in the foyer. Um, this is Sidney Simon. Um, he's another founder. And then also Ann Poor did all these incised pieces on the side here. That And he is the daughter, she's the daughter of Henry Barnum Poor. And there's another, there's another section over there on the other side of the window that is um, also Sidney Simon. Yeah, so let's go into the church. Yay! You want me to come? Okay. <laughs> wow! <laughs> I know, isn't it? Oh, it's pretty remarkable, huh? So cool. Um, yeah, so actually these three big murals in here. Um, Towards the, the, the front or the, the yes, pulpit? Up, up here on the, I guess it's, it would be really the Wall, I think. Yeah, I think so. Um, this is done by William King, uh, early 50s. He was a participant at the art school. And this is by uh, Thomas Mickelson. And then this one over here is by um, Alfred Blaustein. And the two, and then this back wall, we have Ashley Bryan in this area here that's um, kind of you know, concave, a little sort of half circle here. Um, that's Ashley Bryan, who, you know, many people know him. He's a wonderful black artist who lives out on Little Cranberry Island. And then these other two, they're sort of matching in a way, are by 
Sidney Kerwitz um, that are on either side. So cool. And um, and you know, and one of the things that I think is really amazing is that we had a we celebrated the 50th anniversary of the murals, and we had a we had a, an art historian come up from the Farnsworth, Susan Larson, and she was unbelievable and talked about, you know, the structure of the building, the architecture, but also, you know, just that it was such a gathering place. And, and four of the muralists came, and they wow. hadn't seen each other since the early 50s. Wow. And they and they and they told these wonderful stories about you know like getting a lunch packed by Mrs. Harville and coming up here for the day and Ashley playing his recorder and mm -hmm. and then they would just work in the cool of the building you know for the rest of the day on these murals and stuff and and they just had a really incredible you know situation mm -hmm. and um, a couple of years ago uh, there was a student I think she was from Mexico City who was at the um, art school. And I met with her a few times here, and she actually had um, some people from the community and all of the participants at the school, and they all got together and did the original music that was that was performed here. You know, this the songs and stuff from the um, when it was first opened. Wow. Isn't that amazing. That's so cool. Yeah. So she does these performance pieces, and and I, I wish I could tell you her name, but I cannot. Yeah. But anyway, she's really wonderful. And when did you guys have these were restored? How the, the murals have never really oh. been. I mean, they've been worked on a few little times. I've worked on them a little bit. Um, but uh, somebody put the foot through the belfry up here one wow. year, and Johnny Franson asked me if I could do a little repair, which I did, and you can see it. Um, and then I just recently did a repair to, you know, I think something got banged with furniture or something. I don't know on the way out. But we do use it for like weddings, funerals, gatherings and stuff. And we've had some amazing concerts in here. Mm. Yeah. Even the Portland String Quartet has been here and stuff mm. years ago. But we, we've had a lot of... Um, I came to a poetry reading here. And, uh, was it when Wes McNair yeah. did the, um, the thing of... Yeah. Um, the, it was called um, I don't know, Train Stops Around yeah. Maine. Yeah. Around Maine when he was poet laureate. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I know that it's like choosing between lots of great things, but do you have a fa favorites? Or I, I don't really. I mean, yeah. I love the energy and stuff of Ashley Bryan's piece in here. Yeah. I think it's called the Sea of Galilee or something. Yeah. And um, and I really, I you know, I'm in love with these kind of um, the palette, you know, mm. and you know that they're all many earth tones, a little bit of blue and stuff, but mostly earth tones. Um, and, and also, I think the, the drawing is amazing in all of them, you know, I mean, I just, I look around and I think, it, you know, many of these people were all classically trained and stuff, and you know, they really have um, a drawing ability that is quite remarkable, I think. Yeah. Um, you know, they really understood um, drawing and painting, you know, um, before they took on this medium. Um, and also, you know, we don't have that many you know, we don't have that, much, that many murals in this country, really, that are, I mean, we're getting more, I think, that are kind of acrylic and outside and stuff, but we haven't really, we've never really, it's not like Mexico City or someplace where, you know, it's a real tradition and, um, and just public art in general, you know? I mean, so I, I always think of this place as like the sanctuary of public art, really, and that that, you know, and, and where would an artist in this country get a chance to do a whole wall or a whole space? You know? yeah. So I really love that about the space. And um, do you and, know, oh, sorry. Go ahead. Oh, I was just going to say, do you know when they were working on this, were they all working together or did they just separate? Or? They were done, there's a chart actually out in the lobby, and I believe that this may have been one of the first ones that was done. Mm -hmm. um, and I know the ceiling was done later, a little bit later, but it was mostly all in the 50s, you know, yeah. early 50s, 54, 56. Yeah. Um, and, you know, there was a lot to take on, too, because, you know, there were participants at school who want to be doing their regular stuff, and then to come and do this. And it was really a gift to the community, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, really nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. it's really, really beautiful. <laughs> 
I love also that the same the cues are still here and the mm -hmm. and is it an organ? Is that right? That's up there. Yes. Yeah. yeah. There's two organs actually. Two. Yeah. yeah. So uh, well, we do have some um, work done on the line up above. I think it's Spencer. It's a wonderful guy that I think he used to teach at Colby uh, Ferguson from, um, from I think East Basketball or whatever. Mm -hmm. And he came and worked on that. And um, and also um, the other thing that I think is pretty pretty cool too is just how how great the acoustics are. You know, the, you know you can have this little person speaking from the podium, and then of course the air yeah. 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 the space. And, and I love how all these different I don't know I mean each family you know contributed and they took care of their own pew, but you know these different stain colors and stuff. You know, it's just kind of interesting how yeah. how does that come about, and what is what is that? So, so each family maintained their own pew. They did. They yep. Yeah, there was a pew chart out there, and they all had their own. You know, they would donate money to build the building. Yeah. And the original contractor or you know person who built this building, his name was John Joe. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Which I think is a riot, that you know, right. in terms of you know. Um, but yeah, I mean, I just think that, you know, just the quality of the painting and stuff, I mean, and it, you know, some, in some, I don't know if it's because I'm used to it, but I feel like it all sort of goes together pretty well. I mean, there, that was one of the rules when they had to do these competitions to get a chance to do a wall here, is that they, um, they had, it had to have some kind of religious portent to it. So, you know, there's many stories, you know, the parting of the Red Sea and, all this different different stuff, you know, in the Sea of Galilee, and you know the um, the consecration and the Last Supper, and you know, all the stuff in the Annunciation, and I mean, it's really kind of it's pretty pretty much covers the map. Yeah, you know? mm -hmm. I've brought so many people here, like especially mm -hmm. if like I have people visiting from you know where I say New yeah. York City yeah. folks, yeah. and I tell them it's like. The Sistine Chapel of Maine, and they always chuckle. Yeah. And then they come in, and they're like, "Oh, oh this yeah. is amazing!" <laughs> I mean, yes, it's not huge, but it's it's so special. Yeah. I don't know. Figure out what year these. Yeah. So there's different. No, different looks like, ones. Looks like they were donated or something. Yeah. Oh, because this is from Church Harmonies, New and Old, and this one is the new hymn and tune book from the Congregational Worship. And this is from the First Church in Salem. This is from the Presbyterian Church, Glen Falls, New York. Wow, oh, interesting. This Almost like a lending library. Yeah, this, <laughs> this is the Boston American Unitarian Association from 1914. So these must have been all donated or something. Yeah. And this is from the, the New Helm, Hymn and Tune Book, which serves as her congregational worship. So... I know. I love that they're here, though, so that I if do. you want, yeah, you can you sing can, or can sing or read a poem yeah. or anything. Yeah. There's so many good things, and we're going to make Nate sing later. Okay. Serena, I, I seem to now recall you were the lead singer in a band. <laughs> I was, but it was like a punk band. Yeah, like, I, was, I don't really need to know how to sing exactly. I was in a band with Tamar, too. Oh, right. The Blue Poodles. The I was a barker. Oh, you were a barker. <laughs> Well, we sang a little bit too. I was like, were you in the Twilight Zone or not? No. You can just say I was in, but I wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> hang out with I'm looking at the original seating chart um, for the South Solon uh, Meeting House. And this is from, I'm just trying, it shows the doors up here as you enter the front doors. And then this is the little stairway, which you see over here main um, pews and stuff. And very interesting, these little corner pews, um, how they fit in. And there are lots of names here. Um, very are uh, the Rowells, which were, you know, there's Rowell Mountain nearby where Abby lives on the Rowell Mountain Road. Walker, Davis, Eaton, Bicknell, uh, Sweat. Um, you know, very interesting names and stuff. Edward Paul. Um, Caleb Hobart. And so anyway, they were all, you know, like these people all contributed money to have their own little pew and uh, to build this building. 
So it was pretty, pretty incredible. And then there are also some charts over here, Nate, of the murals and stuff too. Not all of the murals, but the major ones. Oh, cool. Um, I don't know if I've ever noticed that. That's so funny. You've been here a million yeah. times. <laughs> <laughs> and then these are some posters of like events that we've had recently. Yeah. Um, we, we did a whole thing of um, agricultural lectures and stuff a couple years ago. Um, we had um, Barry Dana spoke about Wabanaki cultural perspectives, Amber Lamke talk, Albie Barden, Chip Johnson. Amy Robottom, so cheese making to marijuana in Maine, restoring flint corn, grain uh, in the past, present, and future, and Wabanaki culture. And they were really well attended and, and quite good, actually. Um, so, you know, we, we're trying to use the building more for, you know, things like that to do a series and stuff. And then we had a bunch of stuff scheduled, but we've unscheduled it because of COVID. Yeah. So. Well, we're so thankful that you're, you know, giving us a, a, a glimpse uh, at the, well, not a glimpse, actually, a deep dive into the South Solon Meeting House. Uh, it's yeah. it's fabulous. And again, I do not know many people who have been here from my circle. So I'm, I think it's going to be super exciting for people to, to see yeah. this and, yeah. and get a look. And I have to ask, Barbara, there's this cool stairway right to your left yeah. that looks like it has seen some traffic That's over the years traffic. and are, are you going to take us upstairs why not why okay not? and i'm going to actually keep rolling okay. so this will be a, a fun test of my dexterity and okay. and camera ability okay. Here we go. Fine too. <laughs> and just uh again this this view of just is so cool before i go up the stairs all right here i come we'll give this a shot Angel. Super nifty. Wow. Look at that. Oh, yeah. I love Oh, wait, you have to show me that again. Hold on. I'm sorry. My sunglasses fell on my head. So. <laughs> yeah, these little um, prayer book uh, hymnal stands. Yes. Oh, neat. You know, they go up and down. So for tall, to accommodate the tall and the short. <laughs> Nice. And um, accessibility. And you can see that there are more murals up here. Um, you know, Sigmund Abley's over here, the, this side and that side. And I was actually just talking to a woman the other day who, um, Hillary Irons, do you know her work? Yeah. She, she sort of trained with him when she was a young person living oh. in uh, southern New Hampshire. That's so cool. Yeah. Wow. He's, he's really, he's amazing. He's pretty old now, but he's pretty pretty cool and um, also um, you know the one of the things about up here is wow what a view huh yeah it's so beautiful and I love to sit in the pews downstairs and look out into the woods that's my favorite thing. yeah that's just because it's so amazing but I mean you can really see like the grace of the podium from up here and I think also um, the just the, the, you know, the configuration of the pews and stuff too. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, it's really cool. Yeah, I'm realizing I hadn't really noticed that corner pew that you pointed out that really can accommodate more people. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Um, I have a dear friend who got married here, mm -hmm. actually, and, but. Oh, and, and actually for some concerts recently, we've been taking the podium off so that mm -hmm. people can there's a little platform there so that people can play music and stuff up there. And and it, it's, you know, it's good because there's not really a way to like lift them up in yeah. terms of, I mean, if you're at the podium, you're up there. But yeah. if you're performing, it's it's hard, you yeah. know, because. Because um, the plane's kind of in the way too of your, your yeah. music. Now, now, Barbara, so if somebody wanted to come here and experience this in person to see the murals, mm -hmm. how, how is that possible? How, how does one arrange that? Um, you know, you can just come. We, um, we, people just come to this building and we are working on a um, kind of a manual to talk about each of the murals. David Larkin's been working on this um, in conjunction with Millie Cummings. She wrote a book about the South Solo Meeting House that she, if you come up to my house, I'll give you a copy of it, um, which might be interesting for you. Yeah, um, that's cool. 
and um, anyway, he's working with the text with that, but also he, he's a theologian and, you know, went to divinity school and stuff, and so he's actually talks about the murals, because a lot of people come in here and they think, oh, this is really amazing, but they don't really know, you know, religiously what's going on, so I think that will be really interesting, and we, um, there was an article written by an architect in New Haven, this guy Howard Hebel, and his son is an architectural photographer, photographer and he came and took pictures and there's this magazine called Faith and Forum and it's it's just architectural um, stories about houses of worship you know from mm -hmm. from mosques to meeting houses and he compared this meeting house to this round barn it's called the round barn meeting house in Richmond Vermont and mm -hmm. So his son did, took these amazing photographs. Of, so we're going to use those photographs in David's text. And, and it should be coming out pretty soon. So cool. Yeah. Wow. And I'm just realizing there's an angel like right over your head. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's the wall. We like that. The wall of yeah. the... Wall of the yeah. Yeah. I like how the angels are up in the... Well, there's a, actually, there's a flying angel over there in Bill King's thing, which I love the perspective. Yeah, that sort of the angel. aft and four of the angel. Yeah, the totally. <laughs> yeah. yeah, cracks me up. Um, and, you know, talk about the perfect lesson in foreshortening, you know? I mean, yeah. it's really good. Yeah, um, so true. My favorite part is actually right to the right of that. It's yeah. some kind of abstract linear mountain yeah. boat maybe yeah. i just i love that yeah it's my favorite wow see how the top of this window has all these like little like a chalice and like grapes grapes and like a little cruet maybe yes. like an olive oil base yeah. there's cloth probably some cloths for the altar yeah oh that's so cool I actually feel like every time I'm here, I see something different. I know. Oh, yeah. Like, I'm like, Me oh, too. I've never noticed that. I've never noticed these robed women. Like, I've been here so many times. Like, I every time yeah. I think, oh, right, there's another beautiful yeah. part of this. I think it's because your brain gets overwhelmed by all the beauty, and then right. you're like, <laughs> it's hard to see with me. I do feel like soul songs in here would be good, though. I do, too. Like, um... Uh, Someday he'll come along, the man I love, and he'll be big and strong, the man I love. And I will be with you someday, maybe one day, maybe now. I love that song. Yeah, that's a great song. I've been listening to all this Nina Simone 